Major Spoilers Podcast. Thank you so much for downloading and sharing this episode with a friend and being one of our cool supporters on Patreon at patreon.com slash major spoilers. Because of all of you cool people, we are able to do this show week after week and deliver it to you uh, roughly 50 weeks a year, 50 weeks a year at an hour plus entertainment. Show me someone else who's that dedicated. I, I think they're all here right now. There's D&D Brian. Hello. And Matthew. What up, nerds? And Rob is here. Hi. Rodrigo is there. That's me. And our DM Sam is here. Hello. All right. I've, I've been having a lot of fun with this Pathfinder adventure, Sam. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Last time we uh, killed a bunch Uncritical. of... Uncritical! Uh, yes, there you go. Uh, last time we killed a bunch of junk mo- monsters, or a junk monster. <laughs> yes. A junk monster and a bunch of golem or a bunch and of zombies. zombies. Yeah. And I think some of us may need uh, to get a tetanus shot. Yeah. Uh, So, yeah, we'll pick right up uh, because there's a building on fire. Oh, no, not me. Mm. I'm leaving. (laughs) This is Uh, one of those things where we kind of just... Building is on fire and it wasn't my fault. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, there are seems to be some people from the docks that are mobilizing. Uh, Someone's got a a fire hose going that's uh, pumping water from the... Uh, port to spray down this uh, building, and yeah, what do you guys do? I'm inclined to walk uh, to a safe uh, space. This is this is not yeah. really our concern anymore. Yeah, I think I'd we'll, make we'll myself move scarce. away from it. Is anybody like clearly grievously injured that they need help? Uh, no. Everyone who was in the building when it caught on fire was already dead. So mm-hmm. nice. I meant in the party. Oh. Um, well, I did heal up, but uh, I've still got some... Um, I think Sam had asked about uh, some everlasting gobstoppers that we got from our, uh, <laughs> from our run-in with the golem. Yeah, I mean, everyone is still injured, but uh, it's not... Your extra fun special gift from uh, the golem is not particularly obvious right now that would require some more uh measured study okay good well that sounds ominous so we'll we'll move away or yeah we'll move away from the building cool where do you guys head uh probably back towards the inn Mm -hmm. sounds good i'm i'm mighty concerned that that was the spirit of um Mr. Greenwood. Oh yeah. Speaking of one, uh, one thing I forgot to add last week is uh, actually right after you. Who was it that shattered the ring again? Uh, whoever, whoever slagged it. Yeah. Oh, you melted it. Got it. So yeah, as the ring melts um, and the ghost discorporates, a fragment of the ghost, um, like part of it, um, Stephen can, uh, uh, Russell can see this very clearly. Um, settles into the judge's gloves. Um, and you can feel like a slight, almost like tingling uh, in your fingers. It's a little bit like uh, if you're out in the cold too long and your fingers feel a little numb. Mm. Uh oh. Is that the judge who feels the tingling? Yes, correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you see it, he feels it. Okay. Now, is Russell the only one who's able to perceive that? That is correct. Um, I'm pretty sure I've met Mr. Greenwood at least once, right? Yep. He is in the, uh, significant NPC stock I sent you. Yeah, yeah, I think we're... So, yeah, those of us that are in town would know who he is. And that, again, is, uh, somewhat concerning that he, that he said that there was a woman that bound him to that. Do any of you have any more leads in this town? I've not been here before. No. I don't believe I have anything. Well, our strongest lead is back towards redemption, unless Eshen is your population close to here. Can you talk to them about anything that has happened recently? Uh, how close is? Uh, so your actual uh, people would probably be about three days into the swamp. 
um, but you're you're kind of coming from the wrong direction uh, unless you want to go through the uh, captured territory. Hmm. The territory captured by the humans or the hags? Uh, kind of both. <laughs> okay. The Hagmans. Larry Hagman. Uh, three days. Captured space. Um, well, we were looking for your artifact, but I have a feeling it's not here anymore. It certainly mm. doesn't seem to be. Yes. Even if it is, we have no real way of tracking it down. If it wasn't here, and if it's somewhere else in town, like I said, our only lead is heading back towards redemption. I I kind of agree with you. I would say the same. Uh, Sam, what do we... Um, what did we know about what... Um, Mr. Greenwood, what he was doing. We knew that he went away and he was coming back, right? Uh, so you know that he was on a trip. Um, the, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, August Westerly knows mm -hmm. that um, he was going specifically to Mexico on an errand for Palmer um, that had something to do with a railroad that Palmer is working on. Okay. Uh, and that he was going on there with his wife. Okay. And then you had been told by, I believe, the portmaster, or sorry, not you, because um, Chema had been so told by the portmaster that he had arrived with his wife in the port. Ah, uh -huh. okay. And had left uh, the port for redemption. Okay. So if yeah. only someone shared that information with the rest of the party. <laughs> Yes, I think it would be best if we look to any associates that Mr. Greenwood would have had. Well, there's his wife, right? Uh, why? Where is she at? She wasn't one of the bodies in the in the warehouse. Clearly not, and she was. She did not return to Redemption before we left. That's that we know of. True, that is correct. Oh, as you guys are walking uh, back to the inn, uh, Dawn uh, runs up to you. She's got her kind of tail between her legs. Oh, does she seem all right? Yeah, she seems fine a little <laughs> bit. Uh, she had taken a like hit from the uh, one of the zombies, but she seems to have largely shrugged that off. She seems to just be uh, sad to have run away. Going to check her for injury. Yeah, she's got some minor bruising, but nothing a uh, good night's sleep won't fix. Going to ruffle her ears and her head to let her know that she is fine. Okay. She, she did the best that she could. Like, leans into it very clearly. And her tongue lolls slightly to the side. I don't have this in my notes, but did we not... Did I not hear from the portmaster that... The Greenwoods were heading back to Redemption? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yes. just uh, Moira Greenwood is presumably heading back. We can try and check the Greenwood residence. I, I think that's a good idea, and I there's a lot of questions. Why would you go back to Redemption hmm. if something happened to your husband here? Well, we would have to assume that if she left her husband behind in... In that state, she is either complicit in what happened to him or perhaps controlled by something that is. That's my concern. Well, either way. Hey, Sam, how are these guys looking? Like, do they uh have any, like weird? Because a lot of them got eaten by zombies and stabbed by golems. Like, do uh, any of them seem sick? Uh, make a heal check. Ooh. 27. 
Nice. That's a very, very very good heal check. Uh, So, yeah, uh, looking at um, everyone, I mean, there's, you know, I don't remember exactly what hit point total everyone kind of ended the fight at with. So you have a lot of the things you'd expect, like there's a nasty, like, cut on someone's shoulder from being hit by a pick. And someone's got, like, a big bruise that's forming on their side from being slammed with a club. Uh, the two that are most concerning are uh, Russell and Eshin. You don't really know as much about um, Eshin's biology, exactly. So, but um, there's some weird kind of like, uh, and also I assume you've uh, changed back to being disguised at this point. <laughs> yeah, I assume Eshin has because we're walking back. Cool. Be a little awkward, anyways. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, like, so you can't really tell what's going on with him because he's got that illusion up. Um, but, um, there's like, I don't know, a funky smell that you don't necessarily associate with him, even, uh, coming off of like his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, that could be any number of things that you encounter in the junk heap. Um, Russell is more clearly messed up. Um, he has, it looks like, a, a number of scratches along his arms that have that, uh, are starting to get that, like, red around the edges feeling that you associate with infection. Mm-hmm. I think well, it's just a scratch. No. I think these needs to be treated. <sighs> Okay, where will we do this at? We can do it back at the inn. Okay. I'm all for going back to the inn, cleaning up. Agreed. Okay. What's the matter, Ishan? Anger, fatigue. Oh, okay. Would that be fatigue from anger or anger at fatigue? First. <laughs> Understandable. So yeah, once we get back to the inn, I'll look at uh, Russell's wounds. Yeah. Cool. I'll provide any assistance I can. I, uh, I am a herbalist, after all. You sure are, and you do have several uh, healing herbs on you. Um, so, you yeah, me? why don't you make a fresh heal check on Russell? Okay. He- Fifteen. Uh, cool. Then, yeah, you do. Um, you know, you you have heard of people cutting themselves on rusted metal and the wounds getting infected and causing some some problems. Uh, so there's a few things you want to do. You want to basically try to clean the wound as best as possible, and cu- you actually want to cut away some of the places where he's been scratched. So this is not a very pleasant process for for Russell. Um, it involves like basically making this wound deeper Ouch. to try to treat it. Uh, but, uh, you are able to do what you think is best for treating that sort of wound. Okay. Um, when I, uh, bandage it up and I'll get some salves or whatever from, uh, Alder. um, sorry, totally lost it from Alder. Um, yeah. And Elder can make actually that process a lot less painful because you have some herbs that you can, say, use to rub on the, uh, the wound to kind of numb it a bit, a little bit. I have some willow bark, and uh, I, I believe it's uh, an, an anesthetic tree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally know these things. Uh... Sorry, what were you saying when you bandage them? So, uh, yeah, when I uh, when I bandage him, I like uh, press it down and sort of run a finger um, as if I'm like kind of like writing something on it, um, but nothing will actually get written. And uh, I'll say uh, "sana sana colita rana." And I'll just um, cast resistance on him in case he needs to make a save or anything. Neat. 
Okay. Um, that was interesting. So you oh, guys just, have been... Oh, sorry. Go on. Just something my grandmother used to say. It, uh, it, it makes everything go faster. Ah, okay. Do I feel any different? Uh, you feel like a little tingly from uh, that uh, salve that Alder put on. Ah, and, okay. But not really. Okay. Eshen, I can treat your wound if you want. Wound? Just on uh, that scrap monster did hit you, right? Oh. Did it actually? He'll uh, pat at whatever, wherever he was hit. Oh. Just nod. Okay. And kind of lean to let you get at it. Okay, I will treat that too. Okay, make uh, another heal check then. 16. Cool. Uh, you give him the same treatment. It uh, seems, I mean, it turns out that wounds are, are kind of wounds. He's got scales as opposed to skin, which is a little weird, but the most of it seems to be about the same. Mm-hmm. And I'll do the same on his bandage. Cool. I can cast resistance as many times as I want. Yeah, it's worsen. So let us get some rest, and we uh, we can try the Greenwood Residence tomorrow, or head to Redemption if that's what we determine to be the best course of action. Yeah, I mean the Greenwoods live in Redemption. Oh right, right. Okay, well there you go. Okay, yeah. sounds good. I think it's the best thing we got to go on right now. Mm-hmm. Perhaps the only thing. Mm-hmm. Before we retire to our rooms, I get my own special medicine from downstairs in the bar area. <laughs> cool. The whiskey is cheap and terrible. <laughs> so we haven't talked. I mean, I don't, again, uh, being new to Pathfinder, Sam, when we take an, is there such a thing as an extended rest? Yes. Um, so when you rest for eight hours, uh, if you are a spellcaster, you replenish all your spells. Mm-hmm. If you are not a spellcaster, I mean, everyone replenishes all their hit points. Okay. So. Yay. That will be helpful. And do we get all of our healing things back? Yes. Okay. Yes. In, in this case, you will also get your healing surges back. All right. Yay, I can be angry again. <laughs> yeah, rages come back, all of that jazz. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. I had one round left. Nice. I was wondering, you had been raging for a while. <laughs> Ten rounds. Rage. So night comes over the port city. <laughs> A signal goes up in the air. (laughs) It's a noose. The hanging judge is called. We shoot to the air while lightning strikes behind. (laughs) Uh, You guys do not get the best night's sleep because the walls are thin and people are noisy. There seems to be a lot of people talking about uh, the fire. Uh, You guys see that fire, man? There's a total fire. Yeah, Everything basically, exactly that level of discourse. Yeah. And right. um, and then, yeah, there's also a lot of people stumbling in drunk, people stumbling out drunk, but you guys are still able to get the amount of rest you need to recover all your resources. But enough about Russell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you guys wake up. Oh, where is Eshin sleeping, by the way? Uh, Anywhere he wants. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Probably would have just passed out in one of the uh, areas that he felt was the just an area in the end that was safe, or at least moderately safe for him at the time, because oh. fatigue and injury. Yeah. And- so, all right, let's say that after um, Chema finishes is tending uh, Eshin's wounds. Uh, he's like, all right, you're good. And Eshin is snoring. 
Yeah. He he just we were roommates for the night. Cool. All right. Uh, so yeah, the morning comes. Sam, you wouldn't happen to know off the top of your head what the uh, bonus spells are for. Um, for your level for of wisdom. Class. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. I so um, I can. What's your wisdom score? It is sixteen. Uh, so that means that you get a level one bonus spell. Okay. And you could, you would also get level two and three bonus spells if you were capable of casting those. If I had them, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Morning comes. Uh, Eshin and Russell, uh, go ahead and make me fort saves. Russell, uh, actually, Eshin, you get a plus one, and Russell, you get no bonus. No bonus. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Let me find. Uh, it's a plus 17. Five. Okay. 20. Cool. Um, all right. So morning comes around, um, and Russell wakes up a little bit hungover, and he, um, the bandage, uh, feels hot. Hmm. Okay. I open up the bandage to take a look. Um, so you seem to be... It's a weird sensation. Um, so you look at, you've got like a cut there and most, for the most part, like the cut looks like it's kind of healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't, uh, have you ever had a cut that was so deep you could see muscle or fat? Oh, sure. Okay. So you see that, uh, and it was not like this yesterday, um, except for what you are seeing is not muscle or fat, but your spirit. That's not good. What's going on with my spirit? It seems exposed. Is it leaking out? It's that it seems like that might be the case. Oh no. Um, and Eshin, um, you also feel like kind of like you are saving something off, but um that you have like this like sick feeling coming up on you. So neither of you are taking any penalties at this time because of uh, the heal checks. But the disease has not been cured. Okay, uh, I'll go down to um, to Alder's room and knock on the door. Yes. Uh, can I come in? Certainly, certainly, come in. And I go in. Um. I'm not sure my wound is is healing correctly. And I show him. So on on a scale of one to holy carp, where are we sitting? So that's the weird thing is like physically, he looks pretty fun. I, I think there's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's like my physical being may be okay, but I think my spiritual side may be very damaged. So, not a physical wound? Um, yes and no. It's almost like... mm, It's almost like the injury is both a physical and a spiritual wound at the same time. But physically, it doesn't look bad, correct? It looks like I would expect. It looks like, you know, it was a nasty cut that had been treated pretty well. Oh. We may want to consult Shema on this. This may be something more than I'm able to deal with with a simple tincture. Okay. Come with me. I follow. We're going to go to Chema's room. We'll follow the sound of the snoring Eshin. Mm. 
That is not hard to do. How do how do slee stacks sound like when they snore? <laughs> Actually, that's more the sound of my CPAP machine. And we knock on the door. Yeah, it is. I'll open the door. Good morning. Hello. Uh, we, we have something we would like you to look at. Oh, uh, by the way, when I open the door, I have, like, I'm, like, holding my rifle. <laughs> and then I'll, like, just, like, shoulder it. Oh, come on it, in. Thank you. You probably won't need that for us, but... I didn't think so. I'll I'd... go over to the wall mm-hmm. and, like, hit it a few times to see if the judge wants to come over. <laughs> da, 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 da. And did you knock three times? Uh, no, because he's on the next on room. The he's ceiling. not on the ceiling. No, yeah. Okay. All right. Just knock, shave, and a haircut, and wait for him to go two bits. So uh, this injury, yes. Uh, I oh, he seems to be doing just fine. Well, physically, it looks like it's doing better, but I think it did something else, something that's not physical. Mm-hmm. I, it's hard to describe, but it's like my spirit is has been injured and is not healing. You can make a knowledge religion check. Knowledge okay. religion check for me. Can or we for... all do that? Uh, if you have the skill, knowledge religion, you can do it. I do which not. I think only Chema has. Let me check. I might have one. Wait, would it be uh, under no. R or K? K. Be under K. K apostrophe R. K knowledge. I do not have such a thing. Eleven. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> I know, right? I'll uh I'm assuming this illness doesn't have more than four hit dice, so I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> yes, the disease is not uh, so powerfully evil. Okay. Hmm. Well, I... Do, do we think that it might be some sort of possession, or... I don't know what kind of feeling am I getting off of it. I mean, you don't feel like something is in like I mean, you wouldn't really, I guess, know what possession felt like, having never been possessed. Right. Um, but it feels like a wound. Like it uh it's it doesn't have a physical pain, but it makes you feel weaker. Mm. Can nice. you see it in Eshen? I look at Eshen. Same situation. Yeah, he's the same way. Russell, how did you come about to be able to see into the spiritual world? Um, I was beaten up once when I was younger, very badly. Did you die? Not that I know of. I was beaten unconscious and woke up in a monastery. Hmm. Oh. So close to death. Well, I have something I would like to try. Oh, go ahead. I'm going. I, 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 I'm. I'm. I'm weighing whether or not it's worth it. <laughs> I, I. Burning hands. <laughs> no, I was going to try to direct a ray of positive energy at the wound. And and see if it you know does anything bad. It would be technically that, it's just dis- disrupt. It's disrupt undead. <laughs> if he's undead or undying, make a spellcraft check. <laughs> Is your spirit evil? I'm gonna make a spellcraft check. 
Is that a skill? Yeah. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Woohoo! I have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm gonna roll a twenty plus a three. I'm gonna get a seventeen. Cool. Um. So you don't think either of them are undead, and thus they wouldn't really be viable targets for the spell. But do you think that if this got significantly worse, they might be? Oh. I can convey that information in a manner that is not terrifying. <laughs> so, what Actually, are you, so what are you saying? We're turning into zombies? Tech. <laughs> I don't think you're turning into anything. I think that by what whatever that creature was mm-hmm. when it's attack is injuring you in a way that is similar to the process of becoming an undead zombie or golem or perhaps is there a mirror in the room sam mhm when i look at myself in the mirror do i see anything you're invisible no! ah! you you see yourself just fine no symbols or anything carved into my forehead nope okay and uh, now that Chema hears this, do you think that there's a possibility that this is more than a disease, that it might, in fact, be some kind of curse? Hmm. <gasps> yes, I think this is, in fact, perhaps some sort of malediction that has befallen you. A curse. That so makes sense. Do you think that whatever curse was put on Mr. Greenwood... It's been transferred to us? Could be. It could also simply be a different curse. Uh, Powerful uh, creatures have sometimes the ability to lay multiple curses on Hmm. uh, people. Uh, If folklore is to be believed anyway. I find that I do believe much folklore. Well, I'm believing it more and more. In any case, uh, as of right now, I think this is beyond my ability to treat. So we have to keep, well, it is uh, above my ability to cure at any rate. Um, We need to find somebody who is a more skilled uh, holy man than me or medicine man, as it were. Uh, my aunt. And where would she be? In Three swamp. days into the swamp? Maybe mm-hmm. less. Mm, you've seen these guys move. There's no way they're going to go through the swamp in less than three days. The three days is you, and it involves a lot of swimming. Mm. No, more than three days. <laughs> Sometimes the less and the more the are very confusing. So the question then is do we pursue this and risk this curse further taking hold on you or do we uh risk losing track of uh what has happened to get you uh, treated? That is a good question. If I were to perhaps a pine, I would say it seems like we would want to treat a curse as quickly as possible with the assumption that, well, Let's be honest. We actually have no idea what what is going on in Redemption. We have no way of knowing if there's actually anything that will lead us further down the path. And if this is progressing as quickly as it seems to be, and overnight the wound seems better, but if he's indicating that spirit is somehow being depleted, uh, we have no way of knowing how much spirit there is or how long it will take. Yes. I can't make this decision for you. It is up to Russell and Eshen. Uh Um, Make another quick knowledge religion check for Chema. Okay. 
19. It's oh, better. Um, so one thing, um, so yes, curses, uh, a better holy man is one way to get it. Um, it's also possible that just going to holy ground might allow you to treat it. Hmm. Can I, uh, now that we've arrived at the curse thing, um, can we talk about, uh, if Chema has some knowledge of it, like mechanically what it takes to deal with a curse. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously it, don't, you don't have to reveal like the specifics or anything like mm -hmm. that, but you know, it's like I personally, and also in folklore, there's lots of ways to yeah. get rid of specific curses. Right. But uh, you know, it's like, I don't necessarily want to like have to like go and like, Cut, cut a jicama in half and like fill it with goat's <laughs> blood and feed it to him and that doesn't work and you know so fair yeah. enough um so yeah you've never encountered this specific type of curse um something but you've heard you know things along these lines of like people who had like their life draining out of them and uh there are various stories that none of which in Involve cutting a jicama, but um, you know there was one person who said that they uh, that you've heard like they uh, were you know attacked by a wolf at night and became like their life was draining out of them, and they were able to be cured by receiving the blessing of a traveling priest that was very holy. There was another story that you heard where someone didn't bury their father properly and because of that their their father was was haunting them and they were able to be cured by praying devoutly at a church um mm. and there was another story you heard where someone uh built their house on a place where multiple people had died and they those people were sort of draining the life as they slept and they were able to be cured by moving to a house that was full of lush greenery and the ghosts couldn't follow them there. Mm. Hmm. Well, apparently, for, from what I know, uh, curses have specific ways of being broken, but also maybe broken by the presence of a holy man or a holy place or a healer of some kind. I suppose it doesn't have to be a man. So uh, if you wanted, we could head into the swamp and try to get help from Eshen's family. If not, then we could make a tour of Churches, graveyards, crossroads. Uh, I didn't see any shrines to saints on the way in here, but I'm sure there are some somewhere. This did used to be Mexico. Uh, could I use knowledge geography to maybe f know of a holy place? Or oh. Sacred site? Uh. One either to my people or to one of the uh, human tribes. Sure. Go ahead and make me a roll. All right. 13. Um, so, yeah, you know of the – one of the place, reasons that there was so much fighting between um, your people and the hags over that territory is that the, that place was considered to be very spiritually significant – um, there's also, you've heard some people talk about a forest that's not too far from here that some people think is, um, is holy. Um, and, and anyone else, anyone from Redemption can make me a knowledge local check. Oh boy. Hmm. I'm from Redemption. That's going to be under K. Well, um, I would just know off the fact that, um, you know, I'm building a, a temple there, there you go. And that, um, uh, what's his name? The um, uh, the railroad guy? Yeah, the railroad guy. Your railroad guy, I think, is Nelson, isn't he? Uh, no, that no is that's Palmer. 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 Palmer is a devout Quaker, so he's very religious. Just so, but has the ground 
has the site already been consecrated? For the temple, probably not, since it's not complete. Mm-hmm. But... But the... The Craker Meeting House is complete. Mm-hmm. But then again, would that actually constitute a holy place? Well, the name of the town is Redemption. Oh. Same Did you guys make there. those local checks? I don't have a local knowledge check. Yeah, uh-huh. you, you, he actually just used memory to get me what I wanted. Oh, okay. oh uh, well, then Matthew's also got a net 20. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Also works. Yeah! Uh, yeah, let me think of how you... I don't know, do, is Alder a church-going man? <laughs> yeah, that's what I I'm thought. I'm going to go with maybe not so much. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Um, Sometimes they throw rocks at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you're not really sure what he means by consecrated, but there are some places in... Uh, you would actually say, like, you passed by the Quaker meeting house and there was what you would think of as magic there. Mm. You haven't actually been in there to investigate it, but, um, (laughs) but like it had something of a like aura that you would, the way you kind of see it is there's just something significant about it. It felt important. Mm -hmm. Well, so yes, then if the two of you think you can uh, stave it off through force of will, um, then perhaps we should head to redemption and just make a, the appropriate detours as we, if we approach any holy sites that maybe we can um, try to break this on the way there. I think that's probably the best solution. I would hate to go in the opposite direction from where we need to go if we can find what we need on the way. Mm-hmm. Were either of the two places that I knew of closer to us than a... Uh, so Redemption. the place that's under hag control is closer to you. Uh, actually, both of them are, are closer to Redemption uh, than Redemption is. The hag's place is close is the closest. Um, you guys could actually get there within half a day. Uh, but, you know, you're running through hag territory. Um, and the other place is actually, you think you're a little vague on the details because you haven't been there before, uh, but you think it's kind of close to perdition. I know of two near here. Uh there's one that's only a half day travel, but it's in the hag's territory. What mm-hmm. what are these hags? Uh you know what a hag are. You previously ran a, had a very, very good knowledge nature to tell us all about them. Uh yes, I remember that well. Just cut yes, that hag is out. a difficult word if you you are not a native English speaker. I don't know what they are talking about. Hag. <laughs> My people, they refer to them as la 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 la. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Mm. Uh, well, who are your people, by the way? <laughs> Well, as I told you, I, uh, my father is from South Carolina. Right. South Carolinian, that is what they call them. Exactly. My mother, uh, it's, it's safe to say, lives in and or is a tree. What? It, it, it gets very complicated. Oh. Uh, your mother's a tree? Yeah. You are a, uh, you are a half spirit or a, like a demigod or something. I, I like that. Yes, let's go with that. That sounds lovely. That does explain your witchcraft. Oh, that no. The... Well, yes. Now that you mention it, I uh, uh, yes. 
So, Samantha, mm -hmm. would I use the E word? You would use the F word. Hey, we don't allow the F word on this podcast. <laughs> I do use the F word. But I don't use the E word because the E word is F word inappropriate. So, yes. Uh, I, I believe the, uh, uh, my mother is a fae. Oh, oh, she is an elf. We do not use the E word. <laughs> uh, my mistake. Uh, goblin. <laughs> <laughs> fae. <laughs> A fay, a goblin is is the goblin is the teeth and the the green and the fingers and the. Uh, She's a um, dryad. You know, if you want to be specific, there are so many things. You know, there are uh, like uh, axe hounds and hide behinds and <laughs> yakalopes and uh, alushes and duendes. Mm -hmm. It's just difficult to land on what exactly something is, but. Faye is fine. I did not mean any offense by it. Oh, I took no offense, but we do not use the E-word. <laughs> Good to you know. Can use, you can call her... <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> 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 I've broken the DM. Yay. <laughs> oh, uh, we got off topic. Did anyone so, else hear Eshen, something? So, Eshen, I uh, would rather avoid... Uh, the hag, since we're already dealing with one curse. Oh. Um, and plus, so, if we have to go into the swamp, I don't want this to get any more infected. Right. <laughs> so perhaps if you can point us in the direction of the other place, and if it's on the way to redemption, uh, let us perhaps head in that direction. Agreed. Uh, Forest is near here but I've never been well we will find it together hmm sounds yes. like go ahead oh I uh, under this climate in this sort of topography a forest should not be difficult to spot they simply look for trees, and when they start to gather, then it is a forest. You know, about 10 or 15 minutes ago, that statement would have held a completely different meaning for me. I have that effect on people. Mm. Well, if your mother is a fae... Don't they usually inhabit forests and woods? They can, yes. So would it be easier for you to find this place? I'll certainly give it a try. Okay. What do you think there, Judge, if you're in the room, if you ever walked in and <laughs> saw if any of this was going on? on? <laughs> no, he's just asleep. He's no, just freaking asleep, asleep okay. in the next room. <laughs> He's sleeping with his mask on, which makes it extremely difficult to get a deep breath, so he's not sleeping well. <laughs> well, perhaps we should wake up the judge and be on our way. Then, Brian, did you want to be in here? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine if I'm not. <laughs> okay. You're the best, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Given his secret identity woes, I'm wondering... They are secretly secret. All right, so I go out and knock on the judge's door. After a moment, the door cracks. Good morning. Good morning. Opens up a bit wider. We've run into a slight problem. Yes. Um, our injuries that Eshin and I suffered um, appear to have a curse attached to them. This trip has been very interesting. Interesting is a 
good word for it, um, considering what I saw yesterday. Yes. I saw part of Mr. Greenwood's spirit go into your gloves. <laughs> kind of looks at his hands, flexes his fingers. They feel fun. I was wondering what that sensation was. Has that ever happened before when you... No. Brought I've... justice to someone? <laughs> I have had very little, that is to say, no dealings with any spiritual matters previously. Okay. Interesting. Well, um... I congratulate... I, it's something new for both of us, then? <laughs> I see. If I've not seen that happen before. So, you're cursed. I am. Partially yeah. cursed. Small curse, perhaps. A demi-curse, if you will. It's a... Small curse. But it has the potential to take Eshin and I out of the fight, so to speak. That would be unfortunate. Uh, do you have an idea of how to alleviate? Uh, I think so. We're going to go to some woods around here and seek some help from some people. Um, fey people, maybe? More and more interesting. I know, right? Okay. Uh, so I just thought you might want to get your stuff together so we can go. Very well, yes. I would be interested to see this. All right, we'll meet you downstairs in ten minutes. Okay. So we yep. gather up our stuff, go downstairs, mm -hmm. and uh, wrap up this week's episode of Critical Hit. Revelations! Revelations. Oh, man. That's what the name of this one was going to be called. It was going to be called Aftermath, but I like I like the biblical revelations. Because <laughs> Aftermath comes lunch. <clears throat> well, uh, or, or a really bad CBS show called Aftermath. Anyway, thank you everyone for downloading. <laughs> I and got that out. joke. <laughs> of course, we were born before any of these guys. Trapper John, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Trapper John, MD. <laughs> You're on the right track, Brian. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll give you credit. Well, I don't know about the A right different. track. He's in the right arena. Yes. yes. Spin off. But He's yes. not playing the right sport. But. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sports, we like to thank all of you who've been great sports uh, in this uh, this game. I appreciate all the positive feedback you've been sending our way. And uh, if you do enjoy what we're putting on here, then uh, head over to iTunes and leave some five-star reviews. We really appreciate that, as do uh, uh, new people who are looking to find uh, real play podcasts like this one. Um, if you have any questions, podcast at Majorspoilers.com. And until next time, here's hoping all of your dice rolls are critical hits. This podcast is copyright 2017 by Major Spoilers Entertainment, LLC.